Hi guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Um, it's been a while since I last posted a video and that has been due to some personal engagement and my full-time job. But like I promised, I will be designing trade logos for three of my subscribers. I apologize that it's coming late. Please bear with me, I've been pretty occupied. So without wasting much time, I'm going to show you how to design a logo for a YouTube channel and I'll do so using one of the winners from the subscriber contest. So the person I'll design for is Mayor Craft Design. So let's get started. The first thing I'll change my canvas, my image size to YouTube thumbnail. So I'll have more room here. And then I'll get rid of this. Um, I will import a shape, a circular shape, reduce all the opacity and add the stroke to about 12. Then I will do something similar again, add another shape, similar cycle, reduce the opacity. This I'll reduce the size, then similarly add this stroke to about 10. Okay, then I'll center the two objects. Okay, next up, I want to add um, like a rectangle. The reason I'm doing this is because I have already like designed it on a paper so I can follow along pretty much easily. So it's always a good practice to always design first on a paper before you start. So this is the concept I want to use for the logo. Add this, then I'll move a little bit up. Yeah, and I'll also center it. Okay, I want to get rid of this border on the left and right side. So, for this, I will use a white background. duplicate this and add here as well and then I'll join them together I'll merge all the layers all the objects okay now I'll remove erase the color I'll use the erase color tool to remove okay there is something I want to clarify here um the reason why you normally see me add a dot shape and merge I will just do that pretty quick. If you notice on this shape, there is still a white background. So in order to make this shape to look like this on this layer, we merge together. I hope that makes sense. Okay, if you can see now we've extracted the main shape. Okay, it's looking pretty much okay for now. Then I'll add some tools as well, like a star. I just like that. Um, let me lock this so it won't interrupt with what I'm doing. The star I'll align on the center. Then move up a little bit. I'll duplicate this star because I need like three. I want to reduce the size a little. Okay. I will also duplicate, move to the center. Then from the center, I'll move up and align where I want it to be. Okay, from, 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 from. 
so you see everything is aligned properly you can use this grid template to align your work properly yeah it's aligned so next up i will add the brand name for this um, just a quick reminder, I am also do for the remaining two, I am well aware that I promised three. So, and the link to download all the resources I will use will be in the description section of this video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I like this font. then I'll add the spacing and increase the size I'll make this to be 50 pixels in size then align to the center um, what next the brand name is Crafts Designs So this is it. I'll change the font for this. I will use Navis. The fonts I use on this video are all the default fonts, so you can get them on your Pixel Lab app. I will reduce or oh, I'll duplicate then reduce the size of this to 25. Then add the spacing. Next up, I will try to bend this. And let me reduce the size a little. Okay. Then I'll try to curve this. Then align on the center as well move it up a little bit so I think I'm almost done I just want to add something just like a letter to capture people's attention Okay. I think we are done now. I will just try and apply some colors to it. I want the stars to be a texture, like a golden texture. I will put a link to download the images I used. Then I want the text to be pretty much the same color. All the text and letters, I will use a color tool for it. Then I will use the gradient. Yeah, I'll use this. You can easily use the gradient tool to get this color combination. So for this, I will unlock this and change the color to a silver background. Yeah. Then I'll merge all together. Um, I can import my background image now. Don't worry, I'll put the link to download all the tools in this video. So this is it. Um, I'll try to align. Yeah. 
then I'll move forward to apply some emboss. You can just copy this. There's no point trying to explain. You can do until you get what you are looking for. So the the basic thing there is to just use the emboss and align to what suits your design. So for this 3D text, I will use the depth of 2 and darken it because the background is quite dark. Okay, then I'll apply shadow. I'll set the offset to about 5 for the X axis and 2 for the Y axis. Then reduce the blur reduce to 5 so that's pretty much it i'll just increase this a little so as you can see i have done this logo in less than how many minutes so this is one out of three i'll also make videos on the remaining two so if you are the owner of this i will send you the logo on your instagram account or you can private message me on my Instagram so I can send it to you. So that's it. You can see how easy it was to design this YouTube logo. So you can use this as a format for your YouTube channel logo and just pretty much customized to your film. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.